right, welcome back to the channel. Um, I am sorry this is late. Uh, I had a lot of difficulties uh, with making this video. Um, I used my camera, my actual camera, and not my phone. There was a lot that I had to figure out um, with filming with that type of thing. I've I don't think I've ever filmed with a real camera before outside of just like my like a phone or something. It's different. Uh, there's a lot of like parameters and stuff I had to set up uh, to get it to work right. And I want to apologize because it still doesn't look great. The problem this time, however, um, instead of just filming with my cell phone, the problem is I don't have adequate lights. I do now, but I did not when I recorded this. So I apologize. Um, as the video goes on, there are some light flickers that you'll see floating down from the top of the frame. Um, no, that's not a cool retro filter I put over the video. That is the fluorescent light that is um, just flickering in, in sync with the frame rate of my camera. So can't really just uh, start over the whole drawing. <laughs> But I still wanted to finish the video anyways because honestly it was a pretty good learning process for me. I have not really ever taken any video production classes. Um, this is pretty minimal, you know, I'm not moving the camera around or anything. It's completely stationary. But even with that, uh, I still ran into a lot of difficulties. Uh, unfortunately my computer doesn't do the best job handling um, big files. I also shot in 4K. I thought that technology was just um, further along with that but it turns out a lot of things including my computer just can't quite handle that yet so in the future everything's gonna be recorded in 1080p um, as this has been downgraded to but that still looks just fine and that's all I need um, so I'm pretty happy with how things are and how they will be moving forward uh, into the more of the drawing um, since we're moving on from some of those uh, earlier videos uh, this is this is this is more my style. It's it's a little weird. It's weird, but that's that's how all my my normal drawings are um, when I'm not painting or sorry drawing cats. Um, I don't paint much. Uh, uh, nothing against painting. Um, uh, it's I want to say it, it takes too long, but so does so does this. I I don't know. I think I'm just maybe not as used to the medium. Um, as I am with uh, graphite. With painting, I, f I don't know, I feel like sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just kind of trying to make it work the best I can. Maybe that is just normal for all art and artists. But for me, um, I tend to stay away from painting. I think the, it's just, it's there's not enough control in the medium. Uh, you know, paint being wet and kind of a, a liquid and you're just kind of pushing it around on the paper. Whereas with drawing, I feel like I have much more control. Um, you know, I, I tend to hold my pencils pretty up close to the end so I can get a lot of fine detail. This drawing doesn't have a lot of um, fine details. You know, it's kind of it's kind of blocky, this like squiggly, squiggly line I'm creating. Uh, so I just, I don't know, I really wanted to focus just on some values and some shading um, since that's what I like to do so much. I actually really like where the drawing is at this point in the drawing with those really soft shading shading on the, the ends, kind of where the tube bends. Uh, if this was a fun drawing, I wanted to experiment with um, some of the darker uh, values of pencils I have. So all that black fill you're seeing is done with a 8B. Uh, these really cool Stadler pencils that have, um, I believe they're called Mars Lumograph Black. Um, there's normal Stadler Mars Lumographs, but the Mars Lumograph Black has some kind of like carbon, I guess, mixed in with the graphite mixture. Uh, in graphite, if, if you don't know, it's usually some kind of wax and some kind of clay. Uh, graphite, you know, there's no actual lead. Uh, we just call them leads for some reason, um, just the middle of the pencil. And this stuff has carbon in it, so it lays down a, lot, a little bit softer probably than a normal 8B. So use it up really quick. I'm probably gonna have to buy some more um, in the near future if I keep using them like this. Um, I just kept sharpening like half half this video. I feel like I was just sharpening this pencil over and over 
to fill in all these all these negative spaces but i really like these pencils um, they get super super dark and the best part about having that uh, carbon or whatever mixed in is that they don't reflect like normal pencil lead so it makes photographing wow photographing it makes photography of the pictures a lot easier to take and um, because you don't have to worry about the lighting as much uh, in this the lighting is at a at a bad angle and the camera's in a weird you know straight up and down i wouldn't normally light it like this so you do see like reflections it's going to have some um but as if you look at some of the other lead i'm i'm using uh, in that actual form in the in the middle of the of the paper itself you can see how it's a lot more reflective uh, versus all the black around it almost looks like marker uh, that's what i kept thinking the whole time i was like oh this just looks like marker but i don't like i don't like mixing mediums like that as much um, even though the marker would probably be a lot faster um, and probably more consistent looking oh there there was my cat squeaker she came to say hi, say hi while i was drawing but as i was saying I don't really want to use markers. I feel like it's too obvious uh, that they're different mediums, and you can you can see that, especially with uh, you know the papers I'm using. Pencils lay down different on different kinds of paper. This is multimedia paper, so the pencils lay down uh, kind of textured already. You know, um, it's great if you want to do uh, drawings that require texture. I should have drawn this probably on a smoother paper. Um, and a lot of the lines probably would have looked a lot smoother and cleaner. That's kind of what a kind of kind of what I wanted. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really know where this drawing was going. That's what I like to do. I like to just kind of start drawing and make something. I I don't know this. I had this idea of these like tubes at a weird angle um, in this kind of frame. Uh, but what ended up happening is I thought that the black kind of looked like a like a dark liquid and that this was some some kind of weird tube or uh, maybe something kind of organic sitting submerged kind of mostly in the water and um, that's kind of what i tried to achieve with these highlights i added i think it looks all right i could have definitely taken a lot more time um again i think i spent way more time trying to edit this video than i did drawing actually and i do have a time for this drawing the total time was about five hours which is really fast for me. And since this is still kind of an experiment for me, I'm testing out this new medium of video drawing and everything, I didn't really want to spend too much time on the drawing itself. I really wanted to focus on uh, my editing skills and all that. The next video I think is gonna go a lot smoother. Uh, I wasted a lot of time. I actually had to redo this video for whatever reason. It was telling me it was gonna render out and. I don't know, just an absurd amount of time, just hours and hours. So I knew I messed up somewhere, so I just decided, okay, fine, I'll restart. And I restarted, and I did things better with the help of the internet, of course, and it went much smoother, much faster. If I had done that all before, this video totally would have been out on time. But moving forward, again, like I said earlier, uh, I've got lights, I've got the camera, I know what I did wrong before, so everything from now on should be should be a lot better. Um, I'm kind of excited. I've got some ideas and some plans for some future videos. I've got a bunch of um, pencils and stuff I want to buy soon, and I was thinking about doing kind of kind of a review, maybe maybe more of just kind of showing off and talking about it. And then of course I would definitely draw something with them, and that would likely be about half half of the video maybe maybe the last like third of the video just to kind of show off you know how the pencils work and stuff um, beyond that yeah this is what i'm going to keep doing i'm going to keep making weird drawings i hope everybody out there watching enjoys these i hope you guys engage um totally i don't know leave some comments leave some comments i will do my best to reply again the channel's young so you know, I think it'll be pretty easy if you want to hear anything I have to say about your, your opinions, you know, if you like it, if you hate it. Any any critiques are great right now. I appreciate that. I've definitely still got some kinks to work out. Um, the next thing I'd love to focus on, but I probably won't for a while since it works for now, is audio. Um, at the moment, I am just recording in an open room in my apartment because that's all I have and the refrigerator is going nuts right now. I have no idea what it's doing. It doesn't even have an ice maker. 
It's just making this awful clicking sound. So hopefully you guys can't hear it. All right, it looks like that is the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you can, leave, drop a comment, do all those things that YouTubers tell you to do. Thanks.